everyone and welcome to Tabor Talk. I'm your host Michael Tabor. So I just did a video about a half hour ago on my NDE, revisiting my NDE, which is near-death experience. I talked a little bit about um, universalism and Christianity, Christian bigotry. Um, I talked about the uh, insanity of some people actually believing if you don't accept Jesus, regardless if you're a good person, you go to hell forever and burn. And it's like, it's totally crazed, but 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 look at the numbers. Google it. There are 2.3 billion, B, 2.3 billion Christians. It's the number one faith, number one religion. Now, there are 7 billion people on planet Earth, so that leaves out there two-thirds of humanity either believes in something, or, or non-Christian, or atheist, or whatever. I mean, there are two-thirds. So the, what what is that? The 4 billion something people don't are not christians you know so um so a lot of question marks like what like uh only a third of humanity is going to heaven everyone else is going to hell and burn and whatever so it's totally ridiculous it's absurd and it's it's stupid you know so i think i've talked to a lot of people and christian apologists theologians atheists whatever and i think what makes christianity why it works, I believe, is because the intense punishment. Like, if you read the Bible, I've read the Bible, old and new, from Genesis to Revelation, 72 books, right? Is that correct? 46 Old Testament books and 27 new, something like that. 26, uh, whatever, it's, I'm not sure. 72, 73 books combined. I've read the whole thing. Um, there's a lot of insanity there and craziness. It's barbaric, much of the Old Testament. Um, the New Testament has the crazy book of Revelation and all that. And still, you have people who say, if you don't accept Jesus, you're going to burn in hell. It sounds totally insane. And I, this is my argument, it works because of that intense punishment. Now let's look at Pascal's wager, right? Pascal, mathematician, he was a theist, the Christian, and he had this whole thing, very logical guy, and he said, listen, I'm going to be a Christian because, you know, listen, the odds, Pascal's wager is, listen, if I pray to God and there, there is no God, then what the hell? What do I have to lose? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything, but if I pray to God, if I pray to God and there is a God, I, I, go to, I go to paradise. So it's not much of an investment, really, right? So you're better off praying to God, even if it's one in a million. At least, like, the the torture and torment of not believing, like, fiery health, it's crazy. So Pascal, so here, now here's the thing. You could use Pascal's wager for everything, not just Christianity. So what if I came up with a new religion today called Tabor's Unicorn? Tabor's unicorns, just unicornism, whatever, right? I believe in unicorns. They reside on the dark side of the moon and unicornism. The unicorns created the universe and this and that. I could have a whole story. And here's the thing. People would say, get the fuck out of here. You're nuts. And I'm like, but you know what? If I had that punishment, if I said, if you don't believe in unicornism, you are going to burn in hell. Not for a minute or 10 minutes or even a year, but forever. I bet you'd get a lot of followers. Like, just try to imagine. Take, think about this. Put your finger on a hot stove. Keep it there for two seconds. How about immerse your body? Look at boiling water. And then, you know, can you imagine just sitting there for just five seconds? What about for a minute, ten minutes, an hour, a year, eternal? <laughs> it's so fucking sick. You know what I mean? And it's the human mind who c could create this this horror beyond horror like like you could think of bad shit but burning holy fuck and i even think if you if you read about it some of these christian apologists think that you, your body doesn't get destroyed and the heat gets cranked up exponentially i mean this is some sick twisted fuck fuckery man no wonder there are so many christians who are on who are fucking out of their mind because of this stuff you know all right unicornism what do you think Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience, peace, love, and understanding here on Tabor Talk. What we're looking for is some sanity, right? I'm a universalist. I embrace all religions, but people, like, come on, man, stop with the nonsense.